Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to Overcoming Life. I am your host, Opal Bailey, and I am so excited to be with you this morning and to let you know that we are celebrating an awesome day, and that's a day of freedom. Independence Day is a day not only just for the government freedom or because of the Declaration of Independence that caused, that wanted the United States to be away from the British government for their own reasons and protection of the people and everything um, that contains the, the Declaration of Independence. But you know what? The fact that we can wake up every morning and have freedom, that is, to me, like the Big Apple. That is like the juiciest thing ever for me. Because I can remember a couple of days ago, you know, and I woke up and I said, you know what, let me go and walk the beach. And so I went out and I saw the sunrise. And the sunrise was so beautiful because it had all these different colors and the rays was going through the clouds. And it just stopped me in my tracks. I was like, wow, how awesome is that? But then I noticed that how the clouds were all coming together, like they were just summons to be in this magnificent display, you know, of majesty, of glory. And I noticed the water. I noticed how the the waves were just coming in and some of the waves were boisterous, but then there were some waves that was kind of like chill, just relaxing, but they all was coming in together. And the first thing that came to mind was, wow, what a awesome expression of freedom. And I was like, man, you know, for us to be able to get up in the morning and enjoy our day without having someone to constrain us and retain us and and confine us, that we can just get up and enjoy our freedom. We can get up and just go out, get in our car, drive, do whatever we want to do, and enjoy the day. And to me, freedom is all about being able to express yourself, whether it's through love, whether it's through relationship, whether it's through your family, being able to go and have a nice dinner or be able to cook out with your family and just enjoying everyone's company, that is freedom. And I believe that sometimes we take freedom for granted. We take it as if this is something that we should have, you know, something that should be given to us instead of the opportun- of an opportunity for us to embrace it and enjoy and to be able to experience life. You know, because even in the scriptures, even in the Bible, Jesus has said that I come and I give you life and that more abundantly. He even wanted us to enjoy life, not just come and just be here on earth existing, but to really enjoy, to get out and see what I see, what I created, get out and see what you can do and what you can experience, the freedom of it. You know, so our forefathers just didn't fight for just the freedom to be separated from the British government, but they also fought for each and every one of us individually to be able to see freedom in our lives, to be able to see freedom in everything that we do so we can take on that attribute and we can appreciate the things that we're doing. Even to be, to be able to um, enjoy your job, that's a freedom. <laughs> that's a gift to be able to go to work, to be able to see your family in the morning and and kiss your kids at night, you know, and not be able to be afraid to go outside and gunfires is everywhere and, you know, and, and soldiers coming in and breaking in your homes and doing all this stuff. But we here in America, we have so much freedom that I believe that we just feel like it should be this way and we've taken it for granted. But the moment that we realize how freedom is really a benefit, it's really a blessing in our lives that we can really take it and be free to enjoy each other. We can be free to enjoy each difference, the difference in each other. We can enjoy the difference in our relationships, in people, in our homeland, you know, and just to be able to enjoy the freedom of love. You know what? Just to be able to express your love freely is just, is a blessing in itself especially for a husband and a wife to be able to express, honey, I love you freely, you know, without having to secretly write a note or, you know, go hide in somewhere and, and say that, but to be able to express that. So to me, Independence Day is not just 
being independent to do what you want to do. And, but it's also a, a opportunity to be free, an opportunity to express yourself. Just, and it reminds me of an artist. You know how when an artist have a blank canvas and he has all of his tools that he's using and he want to use to create this masterpiece and he begins to use each tool and as he paint or as he draw or as he create, you'll notice that how free, freer he's getting because his expressions and everything that he, his movements and everything that he does show his freedom. And so with that in mind, just think about how awesome you have the freedom to express yourself, your freedom to live your life with joy, the freedom to live your life in peace, to have fun, to laugh, the freedom just to laugh. That should be in every <laughs> in every book to just be able to laugh, and especially in our times now where we're always looking at the, the doom and the gloom of life. We're always looking at something that you don't like or something that shouldn't be this. But what about the opportunity of having the freedom to be able to express yourself and be out there and to involve yourself in other people's lives, show them some love and attention and, and be a part of the community and be a part of someone else's life and expressing who you are to them so they can see you in a different way. So that's what I got out of just to walk along the beach. And I was just at all about how it's just so wonderful to be able to say that we're free. Not only did Jesus pay the price for us to be free, but to feel free. There's a difference in being free and feeling free. And so I don't know if there's something that may be holding you in or keeping you locked up or having you in a cage or whatever that box is you have. Take this time to enjoy this weekend, this Monday, this Independence Day to be free. If you never express yourself, make a decision to express how you feel. Make a decision to come out of that box because you don't have to be so boxed in in your life to where you don't have any joy. You don't have any expression other than negative expression. It's just like having water and the water is stagnant and you can't do anything in the water. And once the water becomes stagnant, it becomes, it starts to stink and all this stuff coming in the water and everything like that because the water is not free to move. It's not free to be what it's supposed to be. And that is motion. It's free to, it is created to be motion. It's created to constantly move and do things. So make this day a day of freedom for you. And it reminds me, um, I know I have a lot of stories today, but it real this really came to mind about a bird. There's a bird in a cage. And this bird in a cage, the owner opened up the door to let the bird out. Well, the bird stayed in the cage. The bird didn't even know that he was free. He was he had the capability of being free. So he stayed there. So don't let this day be a day where you just stand in your box and you stay in your fear or whatever it is that's holding you. So just move out in it, express yourself, move forward, do whatever you need to do to stay free and be yourself. You don't have to be anything else but yourself. So take this, this day, this moment, this hour, this second, and just say, you know what? I'm going to move out in freedom. I'm going to be free to be, be me or be yourself or give love, or share love, or act on love, or receive love, you know, because freedom is, that's what it is. It's no boundaries. Nothing's holding it back. It's just flowing. So I just want to just encourage you with these awesome words today, and just want to let you know you can listen to me every Monday at 9, 17 a.m., and I continue to listen to Overcoming Life, and I am your host, Opal Bailey, on TNR Radio Station, and you can also listen with t, um, talknetradio.com. And you can also listen on Facebook. And you can also download the app. So, again, move in freedom, live in freedom, and enjoy your life. God bless. <music>